Hello friends, welcome to the fantastic world of stories and why we tell them from Culture Katha. I am happy to be here again to share a story with you all after a long, long time. Although I guess the timing is right because here in India, the festive season is about to start with Raksha Bandhan and I want to make this video about that. Many of you may know the popular origin story of Raksha Bandhan. No prizes for guessing, but yes, the story does involve characters from the Mahabharata. It so happened that once when Krishna hurt his little finger, it started to bleed. At once, Draupadi, who happened to be beside him, cut a piece of her garment, made a bandage out of it and tied it around his finger to stop the bleeding. And it was in return for this swift and genuine act of kindness by Draupadi that Krishna helped protect Draupadi's honor during her disrobing in the Kuru court. So goes the story. This story is told for two reasons. One, to demonstrate how God rewards our small acts of love with abundance. So a small piece of cloth given to him by Draupadi is returned by him in the form of long bales of cloth when she needed it. But the other reason why the story is popular is how this episode is used to trace the mythological history of the festival of Raksha Bandhan. In this story, the bandage that Draupadi ties on Krishna's finger is equated to a Rakhi that a sister ties on the wrist of her brother. Brother Krishna, in turn, takes the responsibility of protecting his sister in times of need. So, was it a sibling relationship between Krishna and Draupadi as this Raksha Bandhan story tells us? But if all that Krishna felt for Draupadi was brotherly affection, why was he present at her Swayamvar? It is indeed true that in the epic Krishna is introduced to us at Draupadi Swayamvara. He is found along with his brother Balarama among the spectators. But unlike the other prospective suitors who are enamored by Draupadi's beauty, Krishna and Balarama are certainly not shown to be attracted to her. It appears from Vyasa's descriptions that the Yadava brothers were present at the Swayamvar merely as spectators. In fact, while surveying the assembled suitors, Krishna recognizes his cousins, the Pandavas, who had come there disguised as Brahmins. Taking much interest in the Pandavas, as they were earlier presumed to be dead in the fire at the lacquer house of Varanavrata, he points them out to Balrama. So Krishna is shown displaying greater interest in the Pandavas than in Draupadi. In fact, when the other suitors assemble there, protest that the Swayamvara was not for Brahmins, for Arjuna was disguised as a Brahmin, remember. It is Krishna who is among the first to show support for Draupadi's marriage to Arjuna. So nowhere does the epic mention that Krishna showed any kind of romantic interest in Draupadi. But that doesn't mean Krishna had brotherly affection for Draupadi either. According to the epic, Krishna and Draupadi were more like friends. On several occasions in the epic story, we find Draupadi referring to herself as Krishna's friend. During her exile after the dice game, Draupadi found great solace in Krishna's company. Krishna frequently visited his cousins, the Pandavas, in the forest and constantly assured Draupadi that the Pandavas would certainly avenge the disgrace and assault heaped on her in the Kuru court and that one day she would once again be the queen of kings. So the story of Krishna Draupadi's sibling-like affection and its association with Raksha Bandhan has no basis in the Mahabharata. But that doesn't make the story any less interesting, does it? So friends, do stay tuned for more such interesting stories and stories about stories. Till then, inshallah, bye bye. Take care and a happy Raksha Bandhan to all my brothers and sisters out there.